Back now with an NBC News exclusive. The cutting-edge new training tool being employed by police here in Los Angeles, helping officers learn to de-escalate confrontations before they can turn lethal. The LAPD showed us how it works. A warning, some of the images may be disturbing. At first glance, this looks like a video game. Hey, sir, step back, step back. Police avatars responding to the W Hotel in the heart of iconic Hollywood Boulevard. On the roof, a man in distress is threatening to jump. If you can please step down, let's talk. So just have your hands on top of your head. But these are actually real officers at the Los Angeles Police Academy. I can take a scenario that I might train one day and put that on Hollywood Boulevard, and then on the next day I can go ahead and say, you know what, we're going to run a very similar scenario, but we're going to put it in Skid Row. Partnering with 3D animation firm V-Arm to build a motion capture studio in the Academy's gymnasium, dozens of high-tech cameras and wearable sensors will transport officers and cadets into the next generation of police training. Shut them down, shut them down. The systems that we're uh, installing here actually will monitor the, the heartbeat, the eye movements, the stress levels of the individual. Chief of Police Michael Moore sees virtual reality as a game changer, especially for de-escalation training. Does this de-emphasize the gun as the primary tool of effective law enforcement? A thousand percent. It comes at a critical time for policing with use of force tactics under intense scrutiny. The LAPD reported 37 police shootings last year, up from 27 in 2020. More than half involving individuals experiencing a mental health crisis. It allows us to, as we look at critical instances and some of their outcomes, to go back and replicate them. Incidents like this one at the Burlington Coat Factory in North Hollywood, where police fatally shot an assault suspect, but also accidentally killed a teenage girl in a nearby dressing room. It's hard not to think of this training without thinking of what happened at the Burlington Coat Factory shooting. I know that's still under investigation, but it was a complicated problem set. Is that the kind of thing that you might be able to enlighten officers in a new way? Oh, absolutely. We'll look at every, every one of our situations where officers resorted to the use of deadly force as an opportunity for us to, what can we learn from this? So what do we do now? Stop the bleeding. We see VR we now as an opportunity the to then take that investigation and then model it. We see it absolutely as a, as a means of improving uh, outcomes uh, for instances that resulted in a tragic loss as the Burlington uh, incident did. We have two cops where they're back. A virtual classroom with no boundaries. What we're trying to point out to officers is you're going to encounter people in crisis, and that worst day doesn't necessarily mean they're going to try to hurt you. You're doing great. If you identify that, it might give you an opportunity to communicate with them better. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.